So question 25 then from paper one of the old tyre 2015 last time. You've got this diagram here. You have to work out an expression for the distance between these two moving points and then determine whether or not this distance is increasing or decreasing at some time later on. So this is the expression you have to establish for two marks. Well, it's the distance between two points, but since it's in this diagram, instead of saying x2 minus x1 and so on, that simply means that that length is 2t minus 5, and that length is t minus 10. So I could just go straight in with d squared would be 2t minus 5 squared plus t minus 10 squared. So obviously multiply the brackets, square the brackets, so that's 4t squared minus twice the product, that's 10, that's 20t plus 25. Square this bracket, square the first, square the last, plus 100, minus 10 doubled, minus 20. So adding up the bits, 5t squared minus 20 minus 20 minus 40t plus 125. One step away, square root. 5t squared minus 40t plus 125. And that's what that should have said. Minus 40t, I just wrote it down wrong. Now part B, determine whether this distance between these motorcyclists is increasing or decreasing. Well, that'll be a derivative. Five seconds after the start, so that's when t is 5. So the first thing I want to do is differentiate that. Well, before I do that, I'll just express it this way. 5t squared minus 40t plus 125 to the power of half. Now we can differentiate it. It's been written this way, so I'll just put dd by dt. So that's going to be, it's a function of a function. So outside first, a half of, multiply the power, take one off the power. What's inside it? This wee, it's not that wee, this quadratic. So multiply your answer by the derivative of this, which will be 10t minus 40. Tidy that up. Well, a half of that will half the numbers, making it a 5t minus a 20. That negative means this dot is underneath, and that half means it's a square root that's underneath. The square root of 5t squared minus 40t plus 125. So there's the derivative. Now I just need to figure out what's the value of this when t is 5. So t equals 5 means that this derivative will be, and it's not the actual value, it's just really whether it's positive or negative. And you can see straight away, 5 fives are 25 minus 20 is positive. The bottom part's positive. So it's positive. Do I have to? Well, I suppose I'll just put it down. 5 times 5 minus 20. I shouldn't really have to work out this square root because by definition, a square root is a positive amount. The part inside of it can't be negative. And even if it was negative, it doesn't make the square root negative. It just means the square root isn't a real number. I'll put it in anyway, because you've probably put it in. It's a bit of a paste, but I suppose, no, it's not a calculator paper at all. No, it's a bit of a paste. Shouldn't really need to work out that square root. Just a, a wee note, I know I meant to just be quick sketches. When you write in math square root, that's always taken as being positive. If you ever want that to be negative, you have to put the negative in front. So when you do something like x squared equals 4, realising the answer could be plus or minus 2, you should really write plus or minus the square root of 4, meaning you're going to accept both values, and then have the answer as plus or minus 2. But we'll just write equals root 4 and then plus or minus 2, which is actually wrong. But you just tend to write that anyway. Because strictly speaking in maths, so that operation, the square root, yields a positive amount. So there you go. So strictly speaking, I just need to say that's a positive amount in top, so it's positive overall. Now I'll put it down. 25 minus 20 is 5 over the square root of, and it's going to be a nasty bundle that I've got down here. 25, 125, 250, minus 200 is 50. And there's a 25 times 2, so that's a 5 root 2. So you've got 5 over 5 root 2, which is 1 upon root 2. 
shouldn't need any of that because in the end you just want to know is it increasing or decreasing because you're going to make this statement. T equals 5 means that the rate of change is greater than 0 which means that the distance is increasing. So I don't know whether this 1 upon root 2 is required or not in the answer.